Hi there everyone here again with another ShareFactor tutorial. A common request we often hear from users is the ability to use a mobile device for ShareFactor's music import option. While the PS4 itself doesn't support using a mobile device as a storage medium, there are a few options you can take advantage of if you don't own a PC or Mac. So this tip comes from our ShareFactor community member Pharaoh Fastback who let us know about the way to use OTG USB devices for ShareFactory's music import option. OTG, not to be confused with ShareFactory's online technology group, stands for USBs that have on-the-go connections. So these have two connections that will have the one type A that you'll find with most ports of USB, uh, just like the PlayStation 4's USB connection, and then another connection that will be either micro USB that you'll find on a lot of phones today, or you can get one now with the new type C connection that my own phone will use in this demo. So this first demo we're gonna show with Android with my current phone, which is a Nexus 5X. Using the type C connection, we'll go ahead and plug that directly into the device. And you'll need a kind of file explorer. You can find plenty of these on the Android store. I'm using uh, ES Explorer, which is a fairly common one that you can actually get on the App Store. You'll go into your USB device, since it connects and can automatically see it, and you'll just simply create a new folder like you would on a normal USB called Share Factory, and inside that you make another folder called Music. Once you have your Share Factory and Music folders created on your USB device, Simply go to your music you have stored on your phone and copy it to your USB directory. Copy, back, USB, share factory, music, paste. Now simply disconnect your USB, slip it into the PlayStation 4, enter share factory's music mode, and you should be able to actually import the music with no problem. Now let's get to some of the bad news. One of the reasons this tutorial took longer than most that I put out is that I wanted to verify to the best of my abilities that this could not be done with Windows Phone or iOS devices. First for Windows Phone, the OS does not support on-the-go USBs in its current iteration. Verifying this on a Nokia Lumia 822, the OS supports data transfers to desktop and cloud storage. However, support for on-the-go devices appears to be a highly requested feature. As for iOS devices like iPhones and iPads, these devices come with some specific caveats that inhibit this method. You can find special USB to lightning port connectors or similar on-the-go devices that use USB to lightning ports. However, the one requirement of iOS is that these devices have to be powered. I was able to circumvent this issue by connecting a USB hub at the time. And into iPhone. The final roadblock occurs in the file transfer itself. As all music in iOS is managed by iTunes, the folder structure must adhere to these restrictions. So basically, any image and music copied to USB must adhere to the iTunes folder structure and manual folder creation is not permitted. That does it for this ShareFactor tutorial. If you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment below if I just got anything wrong or have any questions, or have a tutorial that you want to see, be sure to check out our full playlist on the side. Thanks everyone.